Mental health is uh, of growing concern in many parts of the world, including Singapore, especially among the young, uh, the elderly, and also uh, many others in our society. So mental health uh, issues arise because of various reasons. The high stress of living in modern society, uh, the growing sense of loneliness and many other issues that actually contribute to disturbance in mental health. Uh, it's interesting to note that the words health, wholeness and holiness all arise from the same roots in European languages, which suggests to us that they are actually intimately connected. Our health, our holiness and our wholeness uh, all part of uh, our proper functioning as human beings, as God has created us. But we live in a disturbed world, so these things are often disturbed. Mental illness is often described as the disturbance in our thoughts, our emotions, our behavior and our moods. So it suggests that there's some disequilibrium, a disturbance of our functioning as a, a whole human beings. And it is in this respect that we have the gospel message where God has sent His Son and His Spirit to make us whole, holy, and to make us healthy. And uh, it is in this light that we often find references in the Bible. For example, uh, the, the God repeatedly saying, don't worry or do not be anxious. Uh, I will give you peace and so on. So here we find that uh, this is part of God's salvation plan. But we also need to know that we live in a broken world. So in spite of being saved, we can still suffer from mental illness or the lack of mental health. And uh, we take note that even famous Christians like Charles Spurgeon or William Cooper, though God used them mightily, they suffered from some form of mental illness almost throughout their lives. So what can we do if uh, we have problems like that? The Bible tells us that we have been given by God resources to help us. So we have the Holy Spirit who is the comforter, the Bible says. So He comforts us. He, he walks alongside us. We have God's Word to give us hope. Uh, we have uh, prayer as a means by which we pour out our hearts to God. And uh, of course, we have Christ, our divine Savior and friend who walks with us, who understands what we are suffering. And uh, also included would be the Christian community, that God has put us in Christian community so that we do not need to suffer alone. We can encourage one another and find hope in Christ together. So we do have these various resources and we continue to hear Jesus saying, in this world you will have trouble, but in me you have peace. And that's God's promise to us so that over time, as we learn to trust God, we can find uh, His peace. Uh, and even as we grow in holiness, we will find wholeness and we will find health.